Hello everyone, Sigmalator here, and welcome back to The Last of Us Part 2. It has been a long time since I've played this. I've completely forgotten uh, where I last left off. I'll leave a link in the description for the playlist of all the episodes I've played up until now. But basically, my recent playthrough of The Last of Us Remake has put me in the mood to finally finish Part 2. So with that said, let's crack on. The silent treatment. <laughs> Man, I mean, I forget my own birthday if she didn't remind me when it was. You should just apologize to her. I just said... Okay. What's going on? Nothing. Why? I can tell when you're off. <sighs> Just got some stuff on my mind. You let me know if you want to talk about it. Okay. Alright, what did I add to the journal there? Uh, Dana's, uh, Dina's avoiding me. Kat says she's just jealous about how I'm spending my time. I keep trying to invite Dina along, but she keeps saying she's busy. That's right, outcropping. You trace constellations in the sky. I trace the ink on your skin that covers the scar that burns. It smells like, it smells like wet leaves and firewood out here. All right, I'm pretty sure this is a flashback, if I remember rightly. We're back with Tommy. What are we doing, mate? Got stragglers. How many? Just a handful. Jesus. Good shot, Tommy. You want to give it a whirl? No, sure? I know. Well, I'm feeling generous. <laughs> All right. Yeah, See press on there. Red one. Try hitting that. Good way to draw them out of wherever they're hiding. You got aim higher. Leave the bullet room to drop. I oh. see. There you go. Sounds attracting them. Well, we are on patrol. Let's clear them out. All right, welcome to. There you go. See a few more. Oh, gotcha. I like this thing. Two left. Oh shit. Shit. Make sure to compensate for the bullet drop. That's all of them. Usually more over this way if you want to keep shooting. Okay. Let's reload. Where are you coming from. Hordes like to move through this area in winter. They always end up leaving behind a few stragglers. They do the same routes every year? Like a migration or something. Hmm. What's that about? Well, when the barometric pressure reaches a certain temperature... St shit, I don't fucking know. <laughs> Check out the shed. It looks like they're moving downhill. Why? Hmm. Uh... Dead animal. Look up by the truck there. They're munching on that deer there. Guess they're Oh, no truck. Ah, uh, here we go. You're a natural. I'm impressed. Looks clear. Bet there's some this way. Okay, this is a nice way to get back into it. There's something by the ski lifts. Look way out there. Under those gondolas. By that tower. You see it? 
Oh yeah. Just take your time. Shit. There we go. What you think? Beautiful. A handful more. Right. Uh. This is a tough one. A lot farther out than the others. You're really getting it. Yes. Three left. Wait for them to stop moving. God damn it. You stopped. You You'll find it. Well done. A couple more out there. No, that went over. Oh, come on. I'll go for this one. Oh, try again. I like how fall smells. That dried leaf smell. Took me a while to get the hang of this. Oh, come off it. Physics is wild, isn't it? <laughs> it's bullshit, it's what it is. There we go. Gonna have to tell Joel about this. You bitch! If there's a bloody trophy for this one, I am not doing it. Are you fucking... Oh, come on! There. Yeah, I hope Joel's been stirring that stew. Probably just left it to burn on the bottom. Well, I'm not seeing any more. Yeah, me neither. All right. Let's head in. See if Joel's back. Sure. And her over. <laughs> hey, thanks for that. It's just what I needed. Sure. Ladies first. Yeah, that's what it was. I'm not supposed to say anything, but Joel's worried about you. There's, there's nothing to worry about. Well, I'm sure there isn't. But if you don't talk to him, he's gonna think something's wrong. I talk to him. Well, you have to do more than hi and bye. <laughs> okay, I will try. At ease, fellas. Hey, horses. That was y'all shooting out there, right? Oh, just some stragglers. Ellie got to try out my scope. How'd you like it? Yeah, feels good. Oh. I see you've, uh... You haven't gotten around to changing the strings yet. I didn't know I was supposed to. <laughs> yeah, you, you'll, uh... We'll get you some new ones. Yeah. <clears throat> well, there's that music store down there. I bet they got guitar stuff. I mean, that area's long overdue for a sweep anyway. I can keep watch. What do you say, kiddo? Sure. And that's our cue. <laughs> All right, what's going on with these guys? Are you sure you don't want to come? Get on now. 
He's waiting. All right. Okay. Let's go. All right. Follow me, kiddo. All right, where are we going, Joe? So, you and Tommy cross anything when you was out? Just the few we saw from the ridge. You? Uh, you know, found two runners in a house. Jesse tells me you're handling your own quite well on the group patrol. He's even recommending you for paired patrols. So I think you're still a bit young for it. I'm a better shot than almost all of them. And I have more experience than most of the new recruits Look, who've... if you think you're ready, I trust you. Okay. Thanks. You just do me a favor and start with the shorter routes for now. You know, see how you handle them. All right. No, oh, he's worried. Bless him. Hey, you remember those, uh, Savage Starlight comic books that you're into? Yeah. Tommy and I found some when we were moving through that school the other day. Did you like them? Oh, well, you know what? It's not really my cup of tea, but... Dr. Daniela Starr, I mean, she's pretty... She's a savage. Well, what she does to Captain Ryan in that death match. Whew. Yeah. I mean, he definitely deserved it, but... That was a nice twist how they escaped, though. <laughs> You're funny. Oh, bless him. He's trying to get... Trying to bond with her over th something she likes. Now that's a dad. The music stores up that way. You have to move the horses here. Yeah, <laughs> sounds good. <laughs> hey, Shimmer, don't get into trouble. There's that music store. Yeah, I see it. Need a boost? I got it. Yeah, not a little kid anymore, Joe. Uh, I don't think we can go this way. What? Hey, Graham. Used to be able to swim across this. Okay, so now what? Well, if you're up for it, we can try cutting through that hotel. I'm up for it. All right, let's cut through the hotel. Guess we've got to find a way in. be something you think you can fit in there well, it's worth a shot <laughs> oh yeah we can careful now we can go prone in this one I'm through hold on all right all right Back to the old routine, searching everywhere for scraps and supplies. See anything? Uh, looking. All right, is that Joel in? Well, hello. Howdy. You impressed? No. Nope. You're just too skinny. You need to eat more. <laughs> You're welcome. Now that's dad humor. Uh, health kit. Yeah, two seconds, Joe. This place is giving me the creeps. I think I see a way through, but we got spores. Put your mask on. 
Do I have to? It's just us. What if we run into someone? Okay, fine. Oh, yeah. You gotta be smart about this. You start wearing that mask, you know, and eventually you're gonna slip up in front of someone you shouldn't. I've never slipped. You ain't told nobody new, have you? Not Jesse or Dina or... Of course not. Okay, good. I can make some stuff. Oh, Molotov. Definitely making one of those. Definitely making two of those. Definitely making three of those. You ever been in here before? Uh, we just patrol the streets. Feeling like a bit of an oversight now. Maybe. Oh, now Ellie can do the listening thing. Down here. Bank of wood, thank you. I didn't realise I could smash my way into the showers. I might, I might have missed some stuff. Yep. we got here. Copper Peak Inn. Ruby, I'm sorry if our patrol overwhelmed you yesterday. We don't run into new people too often. I understand why you might have been nervous to follow us to Jackson, but it really is a nice place. We've got electricity, good crops. Could be something special for you and your family. My boys are different people here. Before Jackson, we were so focused on just staying alive, I didn't like who we were becoming. They started acting like the people we were we were running away from. These days, they're on roofs, fixing holes, digging trenches, hard work, but they come home every night excited about building up this place. They've got community, a reason to be acceptable. You used to be a teacher. You could have a classroom of kids hungry for knowledge this isn't a fantasy. Please consider just stopping by. Let me show you around Tara. Looks like it was shot a while back. When did the last patrol go through here? I'm not sure. Is it one of us? <sighs> Only people went missing from Jackson and them teenagers from last year. This was too old. I would just roamed in. Probably. Alright. This way. Uh, right behind you. Nice going, Joe. Don't 
Don't know where you came from, but I'll take you out now. can I make drop anything no over here yeah hold on Joe I am doing an explore. Yeah, you dropped something, thank you. The stairs are out. Need to reload. God damn it. Joel, I think we did it. I think so. Good job, kiddo. So, what do you say we give up on those strings for today? Could have said it better myself. I think our only way out is forward now. Oh. You know what? I'm glad I played through the remake and left behind before jumping back into this. It's given me the, uh, the much practice I needed to get back into swing of it because these guys are a lot tougher than like they are. Following you. Looks like it's, uh, these guys seem to be a lot tougher than in the uh, last game. It's got me back used to the controls again, so that's a good thing. That sounds like a bloater.
wanted to do. Jesus! Jesus Christ! I don't know if that was meant to happen or not. It was too close. Sure. But we fucking did it. <laughs> yeah, we sure did. You good? Uh, you know, them being really old, ain't nothing a solid night of sleep won't shake off. I want to get out of here. Let's pick up all the stuff. God. Okay, it's definitely not me. They are definitely a lot tougher than they were uh, in part one. Creeping along there, yeah. This is the way out. What are you doing? What if there's like two bloaters back there? It'll be fine. Spores are clear. Oh. Quite the fight back there, huh? Not often we get a bloater around these parts. Yeah. Jesse and Dina are gonna lose their shit when they hear about this. Let's deal with them too, anyway. The date, right? Uh, on and off. Why? I hear the way Jesse talks about you. No, Jesse and I are just friends. <laughs> no, no, no. I've got a pretty keen eye for these sort of things. Not so keen with this one. <laughs> Don't hold your breath. Already loaded up, that's good. Right, nothing else here. Through there. I can say. See what it is? Yeah. Okay. Joel. Huh? I think it's them. A couple that ran away last year. I think you're right. Jackson is a wonderful place, but we got tired of hearing the stories of people suffering everywhere else. We wanted to save lives. We had good intentions. 
We didn't make it an hour before running into a horde. Now we're bitten. We've decided we're gonna end our lives instead of turning. Please tell our family and friends that we're sorry. Love Adam and Sydney. I shot her. I can't take my own life. I'm a fucking coward. Adam. Jesus. Only they were immune, right? <clears throat> well, let's go get Tommy and we can get these bodies back to Jackson. After you took me out of the Firefly Hospital, you said there were dozens of people like me. Yeah. Yeah, that's what they told me. I've never met another immune person before. Have you? I could be hiding it. You do. Do you believe that? Is now really the time for this? We traveled across the entire country to bring me to the Fireflies. I had so many questions for them. Why did you pull me out of there while I was still unconscious? Because I let them run their tests. And when I saw that they were useless, I got us out of there. How do you know they were useless? Maybe if you, you just uh, would have given them more time, they could have figured something uh, out. There was no cure. There's nothing that could help these people or anybody else. I know you wish things were different. I wish things were different. But they ain't. And we need to get these kids back to their families. Is there something else you'd like to rehash? Well, shit, what a reintroduction to The Last of Us Part 2. It was great seeing Joel again. Jesse's passed out. Hey, let me do that. He's a good guy. Mm -hmm. Why didn't you tell him? It wasn't the right time. There you go. What about this? Anything worthwhile? Uh, actually, yeah. Abby? Uh, no. This girl, Nora, her unit was assigned to this hospital. They were collecting supplies or something. This hospital? Yeah. Wait, you're gonna go now? Yeah, we have a lead. At least just wait for Jessie to rest up. She could be gone by then. Helly. We know her location. Maybe Tommy does too.
What? Nothing. Good. Can you come help me with the door, please? If I follow Route 5, that should take me to the hospital. It should do, but we will get round to that in the next episode. Well, good reintroduction to The Last of Us Part 2. I've forgotten most of what happens all before this point. So, uh... Like I said, I'll leave a uh, link in the description to the playlist of all the previous episodes to this that I played when the game first released. And then we're going to carry on now until we finally complete. Uh, Ellie's quest for revenge. One I wholeheartedly agree with. But for now, thank you for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma Later. This has been The Last of Us Part 2. And I'll catch you next time. Hey, Kenneth.